Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basic shows you how you can do ultra precise picture placement in an EPUB and also in LibreOffice Writer, the ODT files. I have got all of these pictures placed on the left and I've got three chapters showing of a full length novel. I truncated it to three chapters in order to show the pictures uh, in a better manner. Here is one picture and if I tap on it you will notice that up here in styles and formatting instead of being on the default style which is what text is it's going to jump to graphics and the graphics when you tap on it with a right click lets you modify all of the graphics that are in the book. Now the first thing over here is type and I've got them on the left and to the top and that's the width of this picture and the height of this picture and the wrap on all of them is over here it's going to be followed by text to the right and in between the picture on the left and the text on the right there is going to be a half inch gutter remember the gutter is on the right of the picture but the picture is over on the left now that is all of the pictures. If I tap on format and go to image, that's this one particular picture. And if I tap over here on type, it shows me that I'm anchored to the paragraph and it's keeping the ratio. However, if I tap over here and modify, it does not show how it is anchored and grayed out is keep ratio. Well, I want to do something. I want to leave an additional gutter to the top of the picture and perhaps at the bottom of the picture and the reason is is it seems to be jammed up against the prior paragraph and I want to leave a little space there are three or four different ways you can do this before telling you about it though I want to explain something do you see this paragraph symbol right here and there's a blank line well I have the picture anchored on the left to this blank line paragraph the blank line paragraph is not indented. I have got my default style indented. So when I go to it and modify, it shows that the first line has a half inch indentation. However, I unindented that one fake one line paragraph. Let me show you what I mean. I'm at the beginning of the next paragraph in front of the word it and when I hit enter it creates another new paragraph symbol but notice it's indented. The way I unindent it is just to hit backspace and it's unindented. Let me delete that now. Why did I do that? Well I explained that in a prior video but this might need to be repeated. If I did not unindent this one blank line paragraph then the picture would have started a half inch in right here which may be what you want but I didn't and then because it's indented a half inch the picture would have extended over here and gotten jammed up right here against the following text so for that reason I did this little trick now I want to leave some space in between the prior paragraph and this picture. Several ways to do it. One, one way you can do it of course is before importing your picture you can put an additional amount of white space up above on top of the picture. Another way you can do it is to go here right click and modify and then there's two methods you can use. One would be over here in borders and you can click above and click below if you want perhaps and now you've got two borders 
and if you don't want the lines showing you can just turn them to white and they won't show anymore because they're going to be white or for that matter if you want to leave them you can make them red and then you can make the amount of space bigger or smaller let's let's make it pretty good size it's going to be a white line no a red line and let's make the line a little bit larger I'll make it two points and apply okay I just hit the bottom one though the top one's not showing I don't know how I did that well when you convert this into an EPUB there will be space showing above and below the picture the other way you can do it is to not use borders at all and instead make use of the wrap that you did on the right but in this case just wrap the top and wrap the bottom any any amount you want to that's too much I'm exaggerating this for emphasis and now you've got a half inch below and a half inch to the side and a half inch to the top now it's exactly a half inch to the side and it's exactly a half inch to the top but the bottom might be more and the reason for that is that is that the picture although it is exactly the width you want every picture has a different height of course and the line spacing of your font will be precisely the same for each line of text so you're going to end up here you're finished with that line and then you've got a certain amount extra for the beginning of that line so this difference might be a little bit different for every single picture alrighty let's go look at some of the other pictures and see what they look like I will go to the previous graphic previous graphic uh, the ones that are at the top of the page do not show the border and that creates a problem in the EPUB and I'm going to explain that this one shows a half inch and so on let me show you how to navigate real quickly uh, here I've got the navigator and this goes from text frame to text text frame and this goes from picture to picture and I've got styles and formatting up here and I've got the navigator here in your main menu you have got your navigator as F5 and in this is very confusing I realize that that's I, I don't think that they have quite got this uh, done the way they want it to end up being and over here in format you've got styles and formatting as F11 well heck as a stopgap measure I created an F4 it wasn't being used for anything else and so I've got F4 and F5 and I can achieve F11 with just these things being next to each other let me show you how you can do that yourself uh, for one thing you have to go up here to tools and go down to customize and that F4 is not being used for anything the F5 is automatically the navigator so on the F4 just put in sidebar and then save it and there on after your menu will show F4 over here for data sources the the terminology and nomenclature is not consistent image graphics frames frame graphics I get so confused but let me show you how nicely this works when I hit F5 F4 now go back F4 that shows just properties F5 and it shows properties okay well I I, I want to see properties so now I have to hit F11 so it's kind of tricky but it does work now if I kill those off again I want to show you something see how it goes full screen and it's still full screen it's well behaved that is because over here in view when I zoom I've got zoom set at optimal view if I had zoom set at oh I don't know say 100 percent it cuts off f5 f4 
It looks fine now, but when I hit F4, F5, you see what I'm saying? So make sure that this thing in view is zoom optimal view. There's another thing about view. I've got this thing set on print layout. When you have it on print layout, that's different than web la layout. Web layout is not what it looks like when it's being printed on a piece of paper. This doesn't show a page end. This just goes on and, and on and on. And uh, let me go page down, page down, page down. See, you don't have any pages. You don't see any page ends or anything. But on the other hand, when you are in web view and you go to file, you don't get a print preview. It doesn't work for that. So instead, you've got to go up here in print preview. And when you're in print preview, I mean, when, when you're in print view, you can do a print preview. Well, that's got nothing to do with EPUB. EPUB could care less whether you're in print preview, print, or web mode. It converts the whole nine yards. Let's go ahead and convert this into an EPUB. Now, I'm going to show you another couple of tricks. Well, first of all, you might be interested. How did he get that red cursor? What the heck is that? That's kind of neat. You can see that red cursor. Well, you get that red cursor from Unity Tweak. So I'm going to go Windows key A for applications, A for applications. And uh, let's see, Windows key A applications. And there's my Unity Tweak. And I'm going to hit Unity Tweak. And here it's coming up. Man, this thing's slow today. And I've got the cursor right here. And it's got red glass. Go back. Uh, window spread. When I hit super or Windows key W, it spreads the windows. And when I do it the second time, it spreads all the windows. I'll show you that in just a second. That's needs explaining. And then here, workspace settings. I've got three across and three down. You can change that to anything you want to. Let me close the Unity Tweak. And I'm going to go to Caliber now. And so remember, I go to Windows key S, Shazam. I've got nine screens possible. And here's two of my things. And there's Caliber. Windows screen S. I'll go back to ODT. I just love doing this. The other thing you can do is Windows key W. And that just shows what's on this one screen. But if I hit it a second time, Shazam, it shows everything that I've got open, including the recording program that I'm presently using. This doesn't show where everything is. It just shows that I've got them. So let me just go to this one. I am now going to be adding in the ODT file that we're goofing with and I'm going to open it and that adds this in to Calibre. Doesn't convert it or anything yet. It's just adding in the ODT file. Takes a second. And now I convert it. One click. Well, two. And now I'm going to have an EPUB file and it's going to appear right here and then we'll go to it and read it with Calibre's eBook Reader. And I will show you what those pictures look like. And hopefully everything is well behaved. And I hit enter. Okay, there it is. I go full screen, control alt 5. To get to the next page, I just hit the right arrow. Right arrow. Well, there's the picture. Now, you see what I'm saying? That there should be a little bit of a gutter on the top of the picture. I thought that looked kind of funny. There's a half inch to the right. and There's nothing on the left. And the bottom's a little bit variable depending on how wide each line of text is. Now the line of text is going to vary depending on how big you make the font. So let me go to the next page. Yes, I would like to have just a little bit more room between the prior paragraph and the beginning of the top of the picture. Of course, when it's at the top of the page, that is not a problem. Go 
I'm just goofing back and forth here and see what it looks like. Now, I did not deal anything with the frames. I have a prior video about the frames. This frame is cut in half and I showed in the prior video how to keep the frames from chopping in half horizontally. So far so good. I like it, I like it, I like it. And that's all she wrote. Let me close it. And when I close it, I'm going to take this out of caliber and I'm going to add the gutters into the top. And I'm going to show you a problem that happens. Let's go to our pictures here. And let's take this graphic and modify it and I'm going to add spacing to the top and the bottom. Yeah, let's do that. Apply. The uh, It already had the spacing to the top and the bottom and when I just converted I had not saved my file. So what you had seen was a file that did not have spacing. I hope that's not confusing. But right now I'm going to save this with the gutter on top, with the gutter on the bottom. And now let's go back to Caliber. Add this in. You will see the gutter on the top, you will see the gutter on the bottom, and you will see a problem. And that's why I don't do this because the gutter on the top is not considered part of the picture and because it's not part of the picture the picture will get cut in half at the gutter so there will be room left for the gutter on the top at the bottom of the page and then the remainder of the picture will show on the next page and it doesn't look right in some cases. It depends on the look of the draw of how big your fonts are. So here we are. Cover. Title. Looks okay. I got gutter, gutter, gutter. Gutter, gutter, gutter. Yeah, looks alright so far. Gee whiz. So far so good. I don't see any problem so far. And I've gone all the way to the end and not one problem. But let's change the size of the font. And let's go. Maybe that's too small. There. I have left room for the next picture right here. That's considered part of the picture. It's empty space, but it's the next picture's top gutter. And there it is. Every once in a while you'll have a mess. Same thing right here. It leaves room for the picture on the next page. Same thing here. Look at this. I don't know why it's doing that. It doesn't look right. That is one of the limitations of using a general purpose conversion rule with your word processor file. And if the word processor itself is not sufficiently sophisticated to handle this, then you're going to end up with weird stuff as you see. My name is Pop and I have got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics and I hope you enjoyed this and I thank you very much.